also, what was your least favorite candy? Because I know uh, that I didn't, I didn't really no. enjoy when people would give those. It wasn't even candy. It was the popcorn balls. You know what I'm talking about? I like they just give them. Those they had them. No, there was like packaged ones, and they would just give it to you. And I was like, what is this? This isn't gonna keep me up and yeah. have sugar in it. See, it's like, just any other day. I mean, I'd be okay with those popcorn balls. But like, <laughs> but Halloween, you gotta up Halloween, your game. You need to have Halloween candy. is candy time. Yes. This is what I need. I get my candy. Bring your egg gang. The only time I don't have to pay. <laughs> yeah. Free candy. <laughs> Do you have your least favorite candy? I, I don't eat licorice, anything. And if it's even. Like Twizzlers? Twizzlers? I love the red ones. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm talking about licorice like flavor. Black. Yes, so if anything, oh, even. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is so now? weird. Yeah, I no. just can't <laughs> even. Anything I that I even think may potentially taste like licorice is yeah. not happening. I think I'm the only person in the world who likes black jelly beans. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. That just gave me a feeling of it's disgust. A, it's the I, gag just, I can feel guys. myself getting. Do you have any least favorite candy? Uh, well, no. first of all, first of all, <laughs> no. no. I, I like black that. licorice, so I don't have one. <laughs> I have a couple. <laughs> what? Um, but I like first. I I hate it when people will give out like non candy food. Oh yeah. Like like that. apples. That's yeah. you apples. I know, see, I've never I th- I've never had somebody they actually give me apples, apples, and I was like. I'm not trying to be healthy. This is Halloween. But, like, I hate when people give out, like, pencils or, like, toothbrushes. Erasers. Toothbrushes. I hate that. That's stupid. Have you seriously gotten a a toothbrush? A dentist. A dentist lived there. (laughs) (laughs) Making sure you had good oral No, I think it was an old lady. Well, again, just try. But my, I said, I hate, I will not eat hard candy. The only hard candy I'll eat, I love lemon heads. But like, oh you eat gosh, the crap out of some Jolly Ranchers. That's what I was well, going to say. Off my ass. <laughs> well, that's that's different. Why is that different? It's hard candy. Um, because Halloween has every sort of candy. So you're talking about a pecking order as well, far as no. what you're going to eat last. <clears throat> Jolly Ranchers are kind of an exception, but I hate like I don't <laughs> like gobstoppers. I only eat gobstoppers if um. I've seen you eat gobstoppers too. I only just eat so them you know. if I have a. If I have a weird taste in my or mouth. Or if there's a, the only <laughs> If I have a weird taste in my mouth, that's no, what I like, got. Sometimes, you know how if you, like, <laughs> when you eat lunch, you, there's a weird taste that's left in your mouth. Or after you drink something. That's the only time I, like, eat golf sauce. like, flunk mouth. Yeah, kind of mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> but that's the only time I eat golf stoppers. Normally, if I got them in my, if I get them in my trick-or-treating bag, I'll throw them. I'll throw them out. What? You throw away candy? The golf stoppers, yeah. Oh, I will throw away some Whoppers. What? I love Whoppers. I don't like Whoppers. See, I, I didn't used to like Whoppers, but then, like, I discovered, like, you if you if you just leave them, candy. you leave them in your mouth and let them melt, and then... That's what I do. And then, um... Yeah, that's, that's the trick. And then you can, like, crush the inside with your tongue. And, and they, they... I love them. It's good. Love Once them. you get the chocolate off, it's... It's, mm. it's good. But do you know what the best part is? Halloween is what? what the day after Halloween when all the candy goes on sale. <laughs> That's the best thing ever because you get to go in and they got reduced price candy. See, but you can just true. normally <laughs> buy it. In I've bulk. never I've never had to do that because I've always had like That's a giant fun. bag full of candy that I got trick or treating. Well, like I said, I didn't trick or treat a lot because like, I lived outside of town. Like this year, I'm def- I'm gonna go to Turtle Point. I've never been to Turtle Point. There's a what are you doing at Turtle Point? I'm gonna go trick or treat there. Oh wow! Because it's that is a, not your best option. It's a it's a big neighborhood. It's not that big. I I need to find a big neighborhood. Yeah. Y'all that will me after the show. Well, see, my thing is <laughs> I have rehearsal. Dr. Brown invited so, you to his neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> But like after rehearsals, I won't be able to. So I'll probably just be like, "I'll be too late." I'll be going See, on I'll be the until seven, old so train bridge. Lots of people will trick or treat six. the weekend before. So yeah, I, I find it. I don't like it when people do I that. I don't either. When that's they like start them, with days. That's this weekend. It is. It's this coming weekend, which will be. Please don't gone. trick or treat. This don't is come too to my late. House. Don't talk to them. <laughs> this is Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> don't come to my house. I don't want to give out candy on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> don't go, don't do that. Okay, yeah. it's for Halloweeners. For future reference, always trick or treat on the true Halloween day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all jokes aside, I mean, if you have to, if you have something to do on Halloween, I guess it's plausible, but it kind of ruins the the feel of it. Mm-hmm. 
But no, my Halloween plans is me, my friend Madison, and my friend Sarah, I believe. We're talking about it, you know. We're gonna go, I think. It's going to the, you know the old train bridge? Yeah. It has another name, but I'm not gonna say it. Um, but it's like haunted. Bridge. It's so beautiful down there. It's yeah, like it's called the Ghost Bridge. Yeah. No, yeah. Ghost Bridge. Ghost Bridge is in a different more. Oh, it doesn't? They tore it down. Really? Well, then we go to the Ghost Bridge. Really? Well, the Ghost Bridge. I forget, y'all. Y'all are so young, but uh, <laughs> it yeah, was on Ghost Bridge is gone now. Top. It was on the top like haunted places in Alabama. Ghost Bridge, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I have only ever been completely across it once in my whole life. It looked. See, when I looked it up, it looked the same as Railroad Bridge. No, 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 no. Ghost Bridge was actually a real yeah. single lane bridge that is in a county road just over by the Forks. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. It was a metal structure, very similar to what the old railroad bridge looks like, That's probably but it was actually a one-lane so. car bridge. But yeah, uh, but I, we're thinking about going to the train, old train bridge, mm -hmm. whatever, um, because that place is creepy it at is night. It is creepy. It's creepy during the day yeah. sometimes. Oh, yeah. Too. No, yeah. I... Well, uh, normally, you'd be... People will tell you don't go there at night, because it's... I think a lot of creepy people tend to go there. <laughs> yeah. I night. mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Because, yeah, know. it is pretty secluded, but I do think that Sheffield does a good job of patrolling it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, especially if you were in a group. I'm well, not yeah. suggesting that anyone go, but I I don't think I would be afraid to go at night if I had yeah. several people I went, with me. I went with um, someone, and it was just me and this other person, and we went, and I could have sworn there was like a person at the end of the bridge, but there wasn't. And there was like creeks and stuff. See, Florence, and we're about to get into this ghost stories and stuff. This is the segue. Florence is haunted. <laughs> UNA, UNA is, is haunted. Very haunted. Mm -hmm. If because I know that we have some people that are here and are listening. If you're afraid of ghosts. That aren't in Florence. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Most no. of them are friendly <laughs> ghosts. Oh yeah. And it just makes Florence cooler. Yeah, and if you, if you, because um, I know that we have listeners that are outside of Florence and outside of UNA, um, this is going to be educational, because and somewhat fun, because. Oh, you'll love it. Oh yeah, like. The other day we had a we had a whole we had a like, whole hour conversation. Long conversation with this. And a whole conversation, just talking about ghosts, yeah. and scary situations. That is true. And you're you're very knowledgeable on this. I am not. You know you know a lot more than I know. This is because I'm old. It's like you think she's gonna say that she is, but she's she's not. She's like no. I am, I am by no I am means not. an authority. Actually, Mark and I were talking about this <coughs> recently about how Deborah Glass is pretty much our local ghost historian, and you can get her books all over town and. That's what you really should read if you want to know more about the, the true, <laughs> the true, stuff, the true yeah. ghost stories in Florence and in the Shoals also. You know that the um, ghost is in the off campus, old off campus yes. bookstore. That has a whole article now. Mm -hmm. There's a whole article about that. What do you girl. mean article? Like there's an article in a is it a magazine newspaper? There have been a ton of stories. Yeah, it's just there's so a recent know. one. Yeah, there was a recent little one. girl no, in it was the an window at the newspaper. off campus. Yeah, it was like store. online newspaper. It's, it's it's a part of a lot of lists oh, yeah. about Alabama ghosts because it is probably the most common one passed down, especially related to U N A. Mm -hmm. If you come to U N A, you'll everybody will know the story. So oh yeah, we. We hear, I, I was in an FYE class my uh, freshman year that was called Ghost Vampires Oh My, I think. And it was literally, we just talked about ghosts. We, we had a whole day. And, and you got credit for that, Lainey. I did. I did. That's the way to work it. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, we still did, like, typical stuff, but we, we got to learn about ghosts. Right. So, um... Yeah, so do Let's we... see, the little girl in the window, upstairs window of the off-campus bookstore, supposedly was killed by a rabid dog? Yes, it was yeah, her dog her that dog, bit her. Her dog had uh, rabies and then bit one day... You know, the, the history, because I was a history <laughs> major, um, can't prove 
that the little girl ever actually lived there? Oh yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. They don't know of so the families who always actually, lived in the historic home. None of them had a girl. Yeah, that's actually part of the article that we were just yeah. talking about. Um, there. Which there makes wasn't it even creepier. Yeah, there wasn't ever a girl who lived in mm -hmm. that house with that name. But, but like there was one who lived in Florence around mm -hmm. the same time. It wasn't the exact same name. I forget what her real name was. But have y'all ever seen her? Don't no, lie. I, I haven't no. seen her yet. I've been trying. I to haven't, so much. Um, because when I'm out that late, I don't look. Okay, well let me tell you this. It's I know lot. people that have. Six, it's a lot you're harder. brand new. You're just a freshman. Lainey, you're a sophomore. I'm a junior. So if you're a junior, was the off-campus bookstore still open when you started? I think it might have been. You would remember because there was a vibe. There was a vibe? Oh my gosh. Because like, the whole entire time, like up until I'm horrible with dates and whatnot, it hasn't been that long ago that they stopped being the off-campus bookstore. And when, the minute you walked in and when you looked up and you parked in the back, like I never even knew which window it was supposed to be, but I swear to you, it was the one in the back parking lot <laughs> because it always looked cloudy. Like I won't say I ever saw a little girl, yeah. but it never looked completely clear. Yeah. And, you, and yeah. the minute you walked in, because it was an old house, the floors creaked, mm -hmm. like it had a vibe anyway. But there was a very distinct, like someone was following you, sort of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, for for those that don't, I'm sorry, for those that don't know the actual story, like what happens, is this little girl that got killed by a dog, um, will either be in the window or she'll come up to you and ask you, "Have you seen my dog?" Yeah, and um, and she's like little bitty and she's creepy. And she's in a white dress, um, of course. Yeah, they're always in a always white in dress. White. <laughs> And, um, but then she'll, like, leave. and Yeah, she's not malicious at no, all. No, no, she doesn't try to, like, ah. no, no, whatever. But yeah. I do know it's, people that have seen her. It's hard. If, if again, you're not from the Shoals, um, the house that we're talking about is at the end of Court Street in Florence. That if you keep going straight, we'll run into straight Walker's Hall. Yeah. yeah, it actually dead ends on the campus, and it's there to your right if you're coming from downtown Florence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's always wildly hard creepy. <laughs> those walks. Yeah, see, I, I grew up I grew up in Florence, so I I've been in there one time, and I mean it did feel kind of off. It, I was it kinda, always was. It was kind of eerie, beginning. and it it was always they kept it kind of dark in there too. It wasn't there weren't bright lights like there are here right now. It was kind of dimmer. Mm -hmm. Oh no. So it yeah. gave you kind of a, a well, weird. It was packed with merchandise. I mean, yeah. picture books stacked to the almost to the ceiling of an old historic home yeah so it was it was very narrow sort of passageways anyway and it always felt like someone and was then following sometimes me. the the books would fall down but it it wasn't necessarily her doing it it's just so, <laughs> yeah so you, it wasn't. you'd never know you would never know <laughs> but yeah i don't know if it still is but that was actually one of the one of the stops on uh it Deborah is it tour. always is because it is one of the most haunted places in the shops. Yeah. But it's kind of crazy. That girl didn't even, there wasn't even a girl who lived there. I mean, the family name was right. Mm -hmm. They did yeah. live there. The But there was no little girl on, like, the census report. Oh, yeah. But their family members lived, like, somewhere off down towards, um, like, Tennessee Street or something like that. Maybe. And I always wanted to believe that she did live there. Yeah. I there was a girl it when I found out that the history didn't back up the yeah. story. There was a girl in their family who died at that time. Though. But it was from something else. Yeah, she like got trapped. I think she got trapped in something and ended up like burning. I can't remember. See, this is how stories grow. Oh yeah. Because now that's part of the story. Oh yeah, no, she, she did burn. Yeah, she. she See, burned. she this burned. Is how it happens. She burned. <laughs> and something. Just like remember. they. Let me just put this. I know we're we're sidetracked again. But Lainey and Mark didn't know about all the stories about the dorms that face Pine Street, mm -hmm. about the elevator shafts and how the girls supposedly mm -hmm. hung themselves and Rivers. committed suicide. Yeah, I they know. had <laughs> never heard those stories. Mm -hmm. And when I, the whole time I was growing up, we always heard the stories about the dorms being haunted, like completely. And it was always about the elevator shafts. <laughs> I don't know why. 
but it just because flies. rippers if you go on the elevators it's terrifying you think you're gonna die like yeah. you every single time because it makes like creaking noises yeah. bad um but the segueing from one friendly ghost to another um george mm. <laughs> who we call george and norton um for most people they um believe it's a worker that was yeah. like building norton that fell and died in the women's dressing room however there is someone in our theater program who believes it's a civil war ghost which makes sense especially since interesting since the thing but um that's i don't know who's tied to the land not the structure no they're talking about it like when you hear about hallowed ground yeah yeah. So you're talking about something that predates the structure yeah. that's just tied to the land. Because I know. But someone right. does believe it. In Why? Have they seen something that makes uh, them think? No, they just think Do that. Do you have a sword? <laughs> they think that his, like, historically, like, with everything. Because there's a lot of Civil War ghosts mm-hmm. and stuff like that that they talk about. In, like Wesleyan. Yeah. Yeah, Wesleyan. But uh, Norton, our ghost in uh, Norton, George, he's very friendly. Yeah. Like, I mean... Um, for those that have seen him, um, I wish he, Megan Rainey was here. She has a great choice. Oh yeah, yeah, she does. And um, and Mel knows some yep, stuff. that's true. But and about how like leaves, um, you know, he leaves a chair, mm-hmm. and he always does that. Um, I thought I heard him laugh one time, and I I was like at a, apparently at one of my jokes, and, um, <laughs> or at you, <laughs> or at me, you know, because I'm such a funny person to look at. Um, but. Then when it happened, I was like, "Oh, you think it's funny, George? Like, thanks, right. appreciate it." You know, um, completely. Yeah, and I mean, he like sometimes he's just he just messes around. He doesn't Mark, really have do you anything. ever even been inside Norton Auditorium? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I you definitely will be like yeah, yeah, <laughs> coming up. Yeah. Yeah, I went to school at Kilby, so all of our like plays right, and stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I forgot that. Yeah, but George George is pretty pretty cool. Mm-hmm. He's he doesn't really do anything. He's just. It's just chill. Yeah. Okay. So, like, those of you who don't know, you, um, our campus was actually around during this award. Um, like, Wesleyan Hall was built already. Ooh. Um, now you got some rock, some history here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, there's actually one ghost story that I, I kind of know. Tell it us, might not be us, 100% us. factually correct. That's the best part of ghost stories. But one time, okay, so I, I've been told that there was um, like a general or, or a officer or something who was like oh, depressed yeah. or something and sad. So he like climbed to the top of Wesley and then like jumped off and committed suicide. I mean, again, when a structure has been around as long as Wesley and is, of course there's been tragedy there. So I don't think that it's very hard to believe those stories at all. In the general that you're talking about, I think there's also the story, because, you know, there is a ghost in Wesleyan, and and they talk about who is it. I was a political science major also, (laughs) and I have never experienced a ghost in Wesleyan. I've never been in Wesleyan. Oh, I, I have. Well, we need to walk over there right now. But I've been, I've been, well, <laughs> we just leave the podcast. Me just, <laughs> I've been inside of Wesleyan, but I've never, I have, I don't have any classes in there, so I've never been in there for like an like extended an period. I was there at night one time, which was for, uh, they had an improv session in there, and so I was, I was in there at night, and it's freaky at night. But um, there they say that there's a ghost Carpool in there. This is freaky at night. Oh yes, <laughs> all of it. I um, can't imagine like walking down the 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 bricks without them w- before they put those lights up. Well, it was a road. Are you talking about the circular drive down by the Galat Center? Yeah. Well, Do you remember when it was a road? Anyway, off topic. <laughs> it's always been bricks but, since I've been here. Um. Either Wesleyan or Willingham, I would not Willingham, know. Willingham, not, really not at home. night. Uh uh-uh. uh. But you know, Wesleyan, Willingham started out as a girls' school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know Wesleyan. There's a ghost, and that people talk about it. And there's also like a theory that it's one of the general's son that drowned. But he was a drummer, and that's like the way yeah, he, like, he sounds too. like that he drums and stuff. And he used to play in like sand or something. I don't know. I, I just heard about it one little bit. But Willingham, because um, we were talking about that, 
that place is creepy at night because I used to have to walk by it and I would not look in the windows. Because I, I did once. I did once and I swear I saw something run across the hallway. And I'm like, I never Don't did it again. Back. Don't look back. Don't look back. You didn't see that. Keep you going. Didn't see that. Yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah. But yeah, fun stuff. 